Hey everyone! Wow, what a crazy past few days it's been. I want to start off by saying thank you so much to all of you who have reached out and shown your support to us. You guys have all gone like above and beyond anything I would have expected and I'm like I'm really humbled by it. Thank you so much. From our YouTube and Twitter friends, our family members and our IRL friends, uh, all the nerd fighters and even our little group of narwhals, all of your kind words of support and spreading the word of our predicament have really, they really touched me right here in the, in the emotions place. That so many people can band together to support a cause that they all believe in, even if it's as simple as just retweeting a link to a video, is just something I really love about YouTube and the internet's connectivity in general. However, as life often goes, there's a flip side to great things. With the freedom of the internet comes the freedom to maliciously attack people based on competition or hatred or just wanting to watch the world burn or something. I don't know, I'm not a hacker. One way people have been targeted the way we have been is with click fraud. To quote one of my favorite sites, Wikipedia, click fraud is a type of fraud that occurs on the internet in pay-per-click online advertising when a person, automated script, or computer program Program imitates a legitimate user of a web browser clicking on an ad for the purpose of generating a charge per click without having actual interest in the target of the ad's link. Now this sucks because advertisers are paying for ads that don't get actual interest. When advertisers get the most out of their ads, everyone wins. The creators, the advertisers, and Google. These fraudulent click attacks throw a wrench into the system. These attacks can stem from a number of sources, like a competitor wanting to frame a creator by making it look like the victim is clicking on their own ads to make money, or like competitive advertisers who want to try to make a victim advertiser pay for illegitimate clicks. It can also be from people who think that they're helping the creator by just clicking on every single ad that pops up, no matter whether or not it interests them, or it could be from people who, for some reason, have some sort of hatred toward the creator or the advertiser. Like, I don't know, for example, maybe they made a video against racism and the pre Previous attempts at trolling the creator did not have any effect on their stance or their productivity. Thankfully for advertisers, the fine detection systems at AdSense are pretty good at finding out when something fishy is going on. When you make an AdSense account, they make it very clear that their detection algorithm is top notch and that they will know if you try to fraudulently click on your own ads. Even a quick Google search of how does Google AdSense handle click fraud attack will bring up this page as its first result. They define click fraud as clicks generated with malicious or fraudulent intent. Even though they mention twice that it exists, this page says nothing about how they protect creators or publishers from click fraud attacks. They only talk about how they protect advertisers from invalid clicks, whether it's the creator's fault or not. In fact, they've saved advertisers hundreds of millions of dollars, but you know who they haven't saved? Countless content creators who have unjustly gotten their accounts shut down. But Google, how and why would click fraud occur? Well, advertisers might try to attack the competition, or publishers might try to click on their own ads to make more money. Well, what about when the creators are cyber attacked, or in general when it wasn't their fault? What if the algorithm messed up somehow? Hello? We offer an appeal process as an opportunity to work with you to resolve this issue. Submit your appeal using this form and we will follow up accordingly. Thank you for understanding. For real though, <laughs> you're screwed. I mean, as T. Michael Martin says, your name doesn't rhyme with broody pie, so sorry, not sorry. When it comes down to it, these click fraud attackers target like small and medium sized channels so that their attacks have more power. There's no way the creator can become privy to these attacks and Google, to protect their detection system, does not tell you how you got on the radar for this invalid activity. In the end, the attackers win, again and again. Out there, there are people clicking on their own ads, and there are people who are getting cyber attacked, and Google treats them the same. That needs to change. Nathan, we will see you on Friday.